you know, one of my concerns about this is, you know, when I looked at the, um, and I meant to ask if we could all get copies of this, but I don't remember who sent this to me, but when you look at the technical review from the last uh, one that we got, it seemed to me there was a lot of stuff missing that the evaluators are saying that the district didn't put in there, you know, stuff like, you know, goals were not in there, that there was a lot of evidence was not in there, and I'm just thinking, are those things, I mean, are we aware of that, or are the people who are doing this grant, are they aware that what well, was missing? In terms of the points, um, the data that was missing was community data, not district data. That's not that, accurate. That's absolutely accurate, and it was analyzed um, uh, externally, and there was an actual summary of that that got printed by the University of Utah in the Economic and Business Review. Well, can you send us a copy, send everybody a copy of this, the, the Race to the Top technical review form? There were three evaluators, and it looks to me that a lot of district data was missing. What, what, what uh, so you're about? talking about the proposal a year ago that was evaluated, and the district received feedback on a year ago. I don't know how that's relevant to this discussion. But be happy to send it to you. Well, it's relevant if you're going to, if we make the same mistakes again and we don't get awarded. Well, I think that, you know, yeah, I think that um, what I would say is, from what I've been hearing, is they use what was, you know, the feedback that they got from the last one. Obviously, they'll be putting it into this one. The risk at the top is always really difficult. You know, I mean, there's no new test goals that have ever received it. But I think we're getting better at it. So what I would say is that, yes, they're using that information. But that's not what he just said. That's what concerns me. No, I heard him say that. Okay. I thought I heard him say what had nothing to do with district data. It was community data that was missing. Well, from the last one. On the points. One, on the points right, from on the last one. points from the last one. But that information absolutely would be used. But, but before we have this discussion, if we need to have the discussion, yeah. let's have it. But let's make sure that everybody has the same Right, that's right. I'm not really sure that you're... Send that to the board then, and we but, can look But, but I want you to just think about the kinds of questions you're asking. So let's wait until... I mean, if, if you really want to have this discussion, if it's important to you to rehash something a year ago, that we actually got to the to the final round. It's not we like did. we were thrown right. out. Yeah. Um, we can we can certainly have that discussion, either in a small group with the superintendent, or the whole board can have it. But it seems to me that it might be better to move forward with this grant rather than us worrying about feedback that's already been delivered. If you have a specific well, question okay. about what data is missing, right. let's make an appointment, sit down with the superintendent, and we'll talk about Okay, let's do that. Okay. Because I'm just hearing different things, and it concerns me if we're going to repeat the same mistakes, and we won't be okay. awarded the grant again. Uh, did, did you hear, though, that I explained that it's graded differently? So your comparison with last year is irrelevant? Is that I don't think it's irrelevant. That's why probably we need to talk if you think okay. it's irrelevant. All right. Yeah. And that would be good to let's arrange that. And let's get somebody in the room, Michael, who actually knows a lot about the grant process, exactly. the writing of it, the way. Yeah, I'm just reading the review. I don't know. Right. You're just reading the review, and you may or may not be making this the intelligent. As a policymaker, that's why I'm asking the question. Okay. 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 This is a repeating pattern, though, that we should decide as a board how to handle. When a member has this document in front of them that no one else has, and throws out an unexpected question, it might be good, instead of what just happened, to say, that's a great question, you know, we'll get a copy of that document. Because it is a little silly talking about a document that's in front of you that no one else has seen. And it's happened before. That does take up time. So at some point, we should get in the, we should have a procedure for when someone has a document, no one else is and is and is discussing information that none none of us have, at some point we have to have a pat answer that, oh, well, that's a good question. We'll distribute that document, or we'll, if it's a single page document, you could run in the back and make photocopies. But, I, but this I, is this is a continuing I, problem for the board. But I do think it should be relevant to what is current. And so if, if there is something, and I agree with you, sir. We need to all have the same information. Yeah, it's to relevant to what we're talking about, and that's true. Okay. Yes, I did I make a suggestion on here? Yes. If there are documents that someone wants to discuss, I don't see why we that person, that board member, or whomever, can't come early to the meeting and get the copies made for the rest of us. Right. Or distribute it through an email to right. the rest of us. 
Okay. So we have time to review it before the meeting. And I think that would just be a nice courtesy. Yeah, that'd be great. Otherwise, it's hard to say, it's hard to know how we could actually answer the question or discuss it if none of us are privy to the information. I, I just would like us to have a, some procedure for when this happens over and over. Our, our team will do it its best effort uh, to be final slash due was pretty unique and unexpected. And unexpected. It opens additional doors for us and brought funding to the district. Um, we hope to get awarded the grant. Um, the next item is just a heads up on uh, the manner in which the governor is conducting his education summit this year. He's calling it essentially a state.